Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm back today again for the scrapbooknerd.com online shop and blog. And I'm going to be doing a 12 by 12 scrapbooking process here for you today. I'm going to be starting out here with a piece of the Vicki Booten mixed media paper. And I love this paper for using any kind of mixed media. And today I'm going to be using some Prima watercolor. And I'm going to just start out here by mixing a couple of colors. I'm going to be using um, some of the Romance collection from Simple Stories, and I'm trying to match up the kind of corally pink that's in those um, fussy cut flowers there that I'm going to be using on my layout today. So I just took some of the bright pink and the orange in this palette, and I just mixed them together to create kind of like this corally pink color that seems to match quite nicely with the palette that's in that romance collection. So I'm going to just um, mix that together on that little palette and I'm going to just put it on a little bit of packaging and then I'm going to just put that down onto the layout where I knew that I wanted to um, create kind of like the area where I wanted my photo to go. So I'm going to be kind of creating two corner areas of mixed media where I'm going to put the majority of the different bits and pieces for my project today. So then I just took and splattered with my watercolor brush there as well some of the color. And now you can see I'm just showing you that some of the florals here also have kind of a gray blue on them as well. And I wanted to mix a little bit of that color into the watercolors here. And so what I did was I just took um, from another Prima palette that's kind of to the left, it's off camera here a little bit. I just took kind of a teal color and a gray color and mixed those together which created sort of a gray blue and it actually matches up quite nicely with the gray blue that's in those flowers. Now I'm going to take a doily from my stash and that's going to be the base or the main mat for my photograph here. Um, I also took one of the cut aparts from one of the Simple Stories Romance um, cut apart sheets and I cut out that um, the piece of diagonal black and white paper that's backing my photograph and you'll just see kind of little pops of that black and white around the edges of the photo. The photo is printed in about 3.8 by about 2.8 and it's in black and white and I'm going to now just take some little bits and pieces from the um, romance collection and for the Vicky Booten all the good things uh, die cut pack and do some embellishing with my with my layout here so um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I did in that bottom left hand corner there with the paints um, in the top right hand corner just to create those two diagonal corner areas to put my uh, focal points for the layout so I'll just use exactly the same methods, my um, packaging technique there, and then just a little bit of splattering with my two colors. So I'm going to mix those two colors again in exactly that same way that I did for that first corner and create my top corner area there. Now, I just forget which of the Prima palettes I'm using here, so I will remember to put that in a caption on this screen so that you know which, um, which paints I am using. Um, one of them is the Tropicals for sure, but I just can't remember which one the other one is. So I, once again, I, I took these, um, these floral pieces are just fussy cut from a floral piece from that romance collection. And um, that is a really simple and easy way to create an awesome embellishment for your layout. Those large floral pieces add a huge amount of impact to your project. Now I wanted to add a little bit of stamping, so I just took some Prima stamps from my stash and I took some archival ink in watering can and that um, archival ink is amazing. I know the ladies have some of that, those ink pads over in the shop and um, I love that I love that ink. It's just a dream if you are a mixed media artist at all or if you love to use mixed media. The great thing about the archival ink is that it's waterproof and so if I had decided I wanted to go in and add some more um, you know liquid watercolor whatever to this layout it wouldn't um, do anything to that ink once I've stamped that ink down. 
So I just am doing a little bit of circles with some text in them and a couple of little tiny butterflies. I did a little bit of second generation stamping where I stamped off um, onto a piece of paper off the layout and then onto the layout so that it's not quite as dark. So now I've kind of got those two focal areas and you'll just see me start to stick some things down here. Um, just using a little bit of my Nouveau adhesive, liquid adhesive. And these two little die cuts I'm using here are just pieces that were on my desk, guys. Like, I'm trying to use things up. These are things that I had die cut um, a while back for another project. I don't even know how long ago, so I'm not even sure where those are from, if they're from my silhouette or if I actually think they might even be from a metal die from my stash. Now you can see that um, I'm using kind of like a little label piece there that has a little floral on the right of my photo and that was just cut from a cut apart, also from the Romance collection. And this little die cuts from the Vicky Boot and All the Good Things and I just loved how it is um, black and it's adding a little bit more of a pop of black and it has that script word love on it. And I really like that so I'm going to use that for sure. There's a few other little bits here that I thought I might try to use. I don't end up using everything, um, but you'll just see the little bits and pieces that I do choose as I work through um, embellishing. I did definitely use some of the stickers from the sticker sheet from the Romance collection. One of the things that I really, really love about Simple Stories collections is you get those um, sticker that sticker sheet with the collection, and it's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet that has all kinds of different things on it, flowers, hearts, in the case of the romance collection anyways, um, butterflies, uh, tons of words, tons of phrase stickers, and all kinds of little bits and pieces. And those those sticker sheets go a long way. They, they can actually take you, <laughs> you can get a lot of mileage out of those. So they're a good bang for your buck, that's for sure. So I'm just going to put a little bit of um, foam adhesive on some of the bits that are going to be on the top. So the very top layer, I usually add foam adhesive to those pieces just to give them a little bit more dimension on the layout. And so you'll just see me adding a little bit of foam on some of these as I finish up here. That little piece is just kind of being really stubborn about staying down. So I just ended up adding a little bit of foam adhesive to that little floral bud. And now I'm just looking at some other things that I had pulled out of the different collections and just seeing what else I might be able to use on the layout. Some things make it, some things don't. But I really like the, the diagonal design. I've done this lots. It's a pretty common design for me where you have a diagonal line running from one corner of your layout to the other, however you create that diagonal line. And it is a really nice way to create some eye flow on your layout and on your design. And you'll be able to see here soon where I decide to put my um, title piece, which is just in that same diagonal line um, going through the center. And so I'm going to use one of the stickers from the Simple Story sticker sheet, the heart sticker. And then I'm going to take some thickers, some gold thickers from the Create Paper Good Vibes collection to spell the word my. So the title is going to be my heart. And then I'm just going to finish up with a few phrase stickers from this Simple Story sticker sheet here. There's that awesome sticker sheet I was talking about. And I just really love that. So the layout is almost finished, guys. It came together super quickly. And I really like how it turned out. This is another layout for the kids engagement album. And I think it's just going to be uh, really pretty in there. It's just really soft and romantic looking. And there's lots of white space, which I love. And uh, yeah, just I like how it turned out. And, and it didn't take me very long to do this. And just adding a tiny little bit of mixed media and just some really nice products. And you can end up with a, with a nice um, project when you're finished. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I will leave a link to the scrapbooknerd.com online shop in the description box below. Make sure you head over to the shop and check out all of the fantastic products that the ladies have over there at the scrapbooknerd.com. And thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you another time. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye-bye.